fellow collectors and welcome to Long's Toys. Today we are taking a look at the DX Boost Mark IX raise buckle from Kamen Rider Geats. And this gives Geats his final form. You can see it over here on the right side of the box. And then you can see the buckle uh, kind of fully deployed here on the driver. And I say fully deployed because it has a Mark III form. And then it does kind of a transformation into the Mark IX form, which is really, really cool. I think this thing is absolutely fantastic and the way it transforms is really neat. We'll get there soon. Uh, up here on the top, you can see this is the Mark III form, and then this is the kind of fully deployed Mark IX form. And you can see pictures of the two forms there on the top of the box. Not really much going on down here. Uh, two LR44 watch batteries are included, which is nice, so you don't have to provide your own batteries. Over here, it just says Boost Mark III raised buckle, Boost Mark IX raised buckle, because it does have the two forms. And then over here on the side, again, just showing the two forms of the buckle. Over here on the back showing you how to pop it into the driver and then there's a piece that comes off it flips around and transforms again we'll get into all that in a moment but really really neat the way this thing is engineered is actually really really cool i really like both of these forms as well i think his final form is actually really neat so that's going to do it for the packaging we'll go ahead get it out of the box and we'll take a closer look so here is the buckle as it comes in the box and it's kind of two components here so this is going to be kind of the base piece and you can see the little fox head here. We're actually going to go ahead and flip this up until that clicks into place. And then you have kind of the main uh, turn here, which you can see activates that switch on the bottom. Here is the rail system for the cool translucent red plastic. And it's kind of hard to see, but that says that it is number 61. Uh, no QR code on this piece. Over here on this piece is where the electronics are housed. So you can see here is the QR code right here and then this says it is number 75 you can see there in the translucent plastic and then this is the little tab where you uh, pull that out because the batteries are underneath here so if you would ever need to change the batteries out you would just depress this little piece here and then slide the panel off and then pop in your new batteries but it's a really uh, cool looking buckle a lot of nice translucent red plastic so once you have your two components set you're going to go ahead and click them together here so you can see we have the three clips here and then we have the three spots here here and here mark three. so when you clip them all together it says mark three and now this is ready for us to bring in the desire driver you can see just how bulky it is i mean this thing is quite large on its own has no problem just kind of standing on its own because it's it's quite bulky but let's go ahead let's bring in the desire driver all right, so we'll go ahead and pop this onto the desire driver. So those sounds are actually coming from the Desire Driver itself. It can read Mark III. When we switch to Mark IX, the sounds are actually going to come out of the buckle itself. So it has a raise three, a raise three, a Mark III sound in the driver, but not Mark IX. So we're transformed now into Mark III. So do it once we get boost strike, we do it twice. So that's pretty much it for Mark III on its own. You have the transformation, you have the strike, and then you have the boost time strike. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it for that on its own. But it is only taking up one side of the driver right now, so I thought it would be fun to try it out with some other buckles over here. I'm not going to go through all of the possible buckles, but I just thought I would do a couple that are kind of specific to Geats. So we'll try it first with Magnum here. Ready, 
So when you pair it with Magnum, it just treats it like the normal boost. It thinks it's just boost and Magnum. And then just for fun, I thought we would try it with Boost. So there it does, it does actually recognize that it's Boost Mark III and not just regular Boost, so... Boost, boost, so then you get Boost, Boost, Victory. I don't know, maybe we could call this Boost Mark IV. All right, so let's get on to the main event here. Once you have this connected and you've already transformed into Mark III, we're gonna go ahead and just pop off this front section here. Mark IX. It's gonna say Mark IX and give you some standby music. Really nice standby music. And then we're gonna connect it over here. Then we have to do a revolve on. And then we're gonna push this part back. So there you go, we have used Boost Mark 9 to transform into Geats 9, which is what I believe the final form is actually called. But this thing looks amazing. I love the look of this. The way it completely hides the desired driver, even covers up the core ID with the fox head here. It looks like it could be its own complete driver. It looks so cool. I love the nine tails. The color scheme is great. Just everything about this is a ton of fun. Uh, so now we're going to go over here to this, and we hit this one time. You get boost nine strike if we do it twice, once the lights fade. Dynamite boost time. Some more fun standby music. So there you go, get a uh, array of colored LED lights there. I love that. Kind of go through the whole rainbow there. Now you can still use this side. So there you get something kind of similar to when boost is used with the fever slot buckle. Victory. 
So there you go, a lot of fun sounds, great LED colors there, and I just absolutely love the look of this thing. I think it looks really, really cool. So I wanted to share this off real quick. Now, of course, we do have an upgrade of this coming in the form of the Geats Buster QB9, which is a weird name, but okay. Uh, but it's basically kind of a revamped version of this. I haven't seen the episode yet, so I don't know if this actually like turns into that in the show or if he just gets a new weapon, just happens to look like this because they wanted to use the same mold for the toy. I don't know. But I wanted to go ahead and show these off. Now, this one actually, you can't fit in here. Even if we go ahead and close this up, and we try to pop this in here, this is gonna kinda hit into the side there. So this giant piece prevents this half from connecting, but we can connect this piece. Great. So unfortunately it just says great, nothing super interesting there. It's kind of treated like most of the other power-ups with the Magnum Shooter 40X, but I at least wanted to show it off in case anyone was curious. That's going to do it for this one, but I absolutely love this thing. I think this is such a cool gimmick here, the way you can get Boost Mark III and Mark IX out of it. You know, it's kind of bulky and a little ridiculously gigantic when it's in the Mark III form, but, you know, you can connect it. He's going to get a new form with that. You get some nice sounds out of that. Not a ton going on. But, you know, you have some attack sounds, a transformation jingle. But where this thing really shines is when you take that piece off, flip it around, and he transforms into nine here. And this is just such a cool way this has been engineered. It completely hides the desired driver, makes it look like it could be its own complete driver. We've seen other uh, riders in the past kind of get, you know, new belts or new drivers for their final forms or different forms. And this looks like it really could be its own because it just so completely hides the desired driver. I think it's awesome. I just love this thing. It's so fun to play around with too, to connect it and, and you know, flip it around and have the pieces all flip out and everything. And it just looks so cool when you're done. So I'm absolutely in love with this thing. I definitely recommend checking it out. Uh, now it is going to have some more functionality when we get to the Geats Buster QB9, which I did also get. We'll probably take a look at tomorrow. So this will come back and we'll have some more functionality with that. But even just on its own, even without the weapon, I think this thing is super fun. And it's just a really fun Final Form gimmick. And I really like the forms as well. I'm going to see them more in the show. I'm sure we all will in the coming weeks. But this is just a great looking Final Form, a great looking Final Form toy. You know, the way it transforms and flips around is so fun. I just find myself tinkering with it, keep doing it over and over again. It's just so fun. And I just love the look of this. Like to put this on a shelf... It makes a great display piece. I just think it looks so cool, and I'm just super enamored with it. So I definitely recommend checking it out. I got mine from Amazon Japan, um, probably one of the easier places to get it, I would think. It was up on um, pre-order. It's obviously been out now, but I think HLJ might have been going in and out. You could check there. Uh, otherwise, just wherever else you buy your Toku toys. But I definitely recommend looking into this one, especially if you've been collecting the Geats uh, stuff up until now. This one is really, really cool and definitely feels like something kind of worthy of like being the crescendo of the line. I think it's just really, really cool. Definitely final form worthy. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And as always, thanks so much for watching.